Okay, so I've now rendered my first 10 frames. You can see it says down here, result rendering completed. Hooray! Okay, and I now want to check that I've rendered the right camera and that there are no errors, and then I will render the rest of the project. So to do that, I need to click on start, and then in my Autodesk folder, I want the Maya folder, and then there's a utility called fcheck and that is for checking the frames that you've rendered. So I'm going to open that. And then to check your animation, you click on File, Open Animation. Okay. Now you can just open one image at a time with File, Open Image, but because I want to see how this moves, it's got to be the animation. And then all you need to do is select the first frame in your animation and click on Open. And then, there you go. It's just going to loop those first 10 frames. So I can see that, yes, it is moving. Um, it is the right camera, so I'm actually quite happy with this. I can see that my shadows are on. I can see a couple of things that I'm not happy with. There's something here as it's looping, but I'm going to have to render more to investigate that. And the sun is reflecting in the wall, which means the wall's a bit too shiny. So before I render again, I'm going to definitely take down the reflectivity of the wall material. Um, but I'm going to leave this for the time being to investigate what the issue might be. It might just be a first frame thing, so I might just cut out the first frame. Okay, so once you have done that, so let's assume that you are happy with it, all you need to do then is go back into your render settings and then change this to 250, so it renders the entire project. Now, if you were happy with the first 10 frames, you can change your start frame to frame 11, and you won't have wasted any time rendering the first 10 as a separate thing. But I'm not happy, so I'm gonna keep that as one close that and then you just need to render the rest so render batch render and it'll render all 250 and it'll put them all in that folder and you can check that you're happy with your animation then you need to find a utility to put those together um, so there'll be another video that goes through that probably using after effects i think to put that together okay so um i will leave that there for now